Welcome to the Game Ramble review for Rava and the Cyclops Curse, narrated by me, Dark Cloud. As always, the full text review can also be found on the Game Ramble website, linked below. The TLDR for Rava and the Cyclops Curse is that it's a 2D platform adventure that draws inspiration from the 8-bit NES era. Players must help a young summoner fight through 10 levels of monsters to defeat the evil Cyclops that cursed their mother. Along for the ride are four summons that offer different abilities for Rava to use. Some of these are more useful than others, but they add some variety to the gameplay. The game is very short, but offers an entertaining experience while it lasts and should appeal to all retro fans. It gets an overall score of 7 out of 10. Gameplay, cycle through different summons while platforming through levels filled with traps and monsters, which receives a 7 out of 10. Graphics, the visuals look authentically 8-bit, but despite the limited color palette, everything remains clear and visible, also a 7 out of 10. Sound, each area only has one tune, but the music is upbeat and cheerful, a 7 out of 10. Now for the full review. When Rava's mother has her power stolen by the Cyclops Lord and turned into stone by his curse, the young summoner apprentice is determined to set things right. Thankfully, Rava, who appears to be some type of owl creature, has some assistance with this dangerous mission. In addition to being able to shoot projectiles, Rava can also summon four elemental spirits and make use of their powers. This ability is invaluable as Rava has to travel through ten monster-infested levels to reach the evil Cyclops. Rava and the Cyclops Curse draws inspiration from classic NES games and takes the form of an 8-bit platform adventure. This means that the visuals, especially of the CRT filter enabled, look like they come straight from the late 80s. Due to the limited color palette, a lot of NES titles tended to look somewhat garish, but Rava and the Cyclops Curse does a great job of keeping everything looking clear and uncluttered. Enemies are very visible, and each area of the game has its own color scheme. This also extends to the full summon spirits that can be seen floating above Rava. Each of them has its own use, and players must constantly cycle through the four while making their way through the 2D side-scrolling levels. The blue summon can freeze certain enemies, and can also be used to extinguish flames for a short period. The red summon is the only one that can shoot projectiles upwards, which is great for hitting hard-to-reach power-ups or flying enemies. The green summon has a short-range mortar-like projectile that can break through certain blocks, and lastly the yellow spirit has a sonar pulse that can reveal hidden things. The range of the yellow summon is also very tiny, so for most of the game we found ourselves having to constantly use it to find all the hidden coins, power-ups and breakable blocks around us. While this is not necessary to complete the game, it can lead to a lot of extra lives, useful power-ups and higher scores. The other summons were not quite as useful, especially the red one, and overall the game could have probably done a little bit better job of incorporating these summons into puzzles. After a quick tutorial to familiarize players with the abilities of Rava summons, the adventure begins. Unfortunately, the game only features three zones with three levels per zone before the showdown against the Cyclops. The levels consist of a forest, desert and dungeon, which is hardly the most original of locations, but to be fair, these were a staple for many NES titles, so they're quite authentic. Players who are not interested in chasing down all the coins for a high score will find themselves breezing through the game though, as the levels are quite short. Most of them are very linear too, apart from one that features some backtracking to kill pesky plants that are blocking the exit. In terms of gameplay, Rava and the Cyclops Curse is a very simple game, but can get tricky in parts. It only takes one hit to lose a life, and while Rava restarts from the same spot, once you're out of lives, the level must be done from scratch. Along with all the enemies, players must also deal with traps, such as spitting blades, falling blocks and spike pits. The game does have a timer for speedrunners, but we found that taking things slowly and carefully while collecting all the power-ups yielded the best results. Things like boosting Rava's default attack, a shield to withstand a few hits or even extra lives come in very handy. Rava and the Cyclops Curse is not nearly as hard as some of the games from the NES era, but players who are struggling can make use of the Kids mode to complete the game. This mode provides players with unlimited lives, which makes finishing the game a breeze, but also disables achievements, to keep things fair. On the other hand, players who find the default mode too easy can opt for the Master mode, where it's possible to reach a game over screen and have to restart from scratch. Like the visuals, the audio in Rava and the Cyclops Curse harkens back to the 8-bit era with some basic but catchy tunes. As an added bonus, the entire soundtrack is included as mp3 files that can be found in the installation folder. The sound effects also sound like they were ripped straight from that era. Since it's a 2D platform title, the game plays best with a controller, where players can cycle through the summons using the shoulder buttons. Found the controls to be very responsive and none of the deaths in the game felt cheap or unfair. 
Overall, Rama and the Cyclops Curse is a fun but short title that should appeal to any platform fans who fondly remember the NES era, who would like to see a few more levels and different environments, but there's enough content here to justify the price tag. The game's not going to impress anyone who's used to modern titles or expect mind-blowing twists from every indie platform title, but accomplish what it sets out to do. Thanks for joining me for this Rava and the Cyclops Curse PC review. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time.